this is 33 minutes now. I'm, I'm this gonna do for all. I'm gonna have to break it up in the pots, just so you can know. I don't, did I touch all the, 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 the things that I need to touch on? Did I tell you everything I need to tell you about gang stalkers and how they been doing? This is the way they doing it here. I don't know how they doing it over there where you are. And like, oh yeah, they got it. They got it like that. <laughs> how you doing today? I'm doing good. Now, maybe I had to put it, I, I got a video about one of the chicks, she one of the haters. She, I talked to her one time before, cause she was new here. I thought she, you know, when, when they first come, they nice. But when the rest of these gang stalkers get to them, then they start dur turning into something like them. Like they weak and they can't, they cannot um, control themselves. They start going into doing the same thing that the gang stalkers are doing. Like they don't know how to stand up for what's right. This girl, she kind of, I talked to her one time, once or twice, and then I noticed that she started falling off and started doing the gang stalking and everything. So then she got a whole dog, that, that's one of her props. She walked the dog, and then she turned around, and uh, she told me, she's, I said, what you do, what type of work you do? deduction management that's what she said now this is about money when you're talking about deduction management see she's in the gang stalking program and that she's doing this to try to um balance out who get the money and how much money people are getting who the companies are giving these people there's companies involved stores involved they're giving these people this free stuff so that she got to walk around over here since I'm the one, the individual. I'm not going to call myself no target individual. I'm the chosen one since I'm the chosen one. And, and these gang stalkers are watching me so much. So there's a whole group of them. They want to get paid out here. So she got to be deduction management. And, and I she just telling me in so many words. She, she one of the gang stalkers. And she going around helping these people. Uh, distribute the money or what telling them what I don't know I don't know what to, I, it's, it got something to do with the gang stalker because that's what she is she walked the dog all around the whole block and then she come back and then she, I see her hopping in her car I guess when she go make her little, little video talking into her phone and then I come out here sometimes I see her she have her phone pointed at me and everything make her video talking junk about me into her phone and then she go tell these people so she can get her get paid her little stuff that she get paid and it, i guess they letting them drive these um rental cars unless they giving them the cars i don't know i don't know but they're driving in cars so that's another thing about this this gang stalking program this is another one of the things that they do she don't have no job i don't call Gang stalking, stalking a person is not a job because stalking is illegal. It's an illegal activity. So you don't have a job if you're stalkers. It's not a, it's not a legitimate occupation. That's not a legitimate occupation. Okay, they talk about I'm in the house. Okay, all I see, her car is parked out there basically all day until she go walk her dog go around the whole neighborhood. And then she going to have her little video talking junk, talking all that stuff she talk. And she go get in her car and go to the people and they give her a little free stuff and that's every day that's not a damn real job you not know you don't have an occupation that's not a legitimate occupation being a gang stalker all right so da 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 you know so all i'm saying kumbaya lord kumbaya your people out here, we've been, we been talked about, kumbaya, Lord, kumbaya. They talking about us, and, and, and sometimes I hear them talking about kill so-and-so. Now, you didn't pay to tell me these people not crazy. These people are off they damn rockers. Do you understand me? They gone. Lights on. Anybody home? Okay, let's see. They even got these people out here, the, the maintenance workers and stuff out here. 
the one of the maintenance girls, she was, she's a lesbian, I can tell, and she must like white girls, oh, her black ass, love white girls, because she get to talking a bad, bad about me, so the white woman can hear her say whatever she's saying, so she bowing down to the white supremacy, this got a whole lot to do with that stuff too, I, I believe, huh. They're controlling the black folks. Could, it's, it's, it's all about control, too. So they get these people to be little, little childlike snitches and stuff like this, talking to, telling people. And then what they do, what they try to grab the people and get them into it. And, and it's a setup. It's a trap set. They use me to bait. And then I don't even know what, who these people are, who they sending around here. But they try to use me as bait to get the people to come. And then... Then they tell them all this little wicked stuff. These weak, I can't even call them. I'm getting tongue tied again. But I'm trying to be fast. But my video going on there about 40 minutes now. Oh, wow. Um, trying to get it all in here. Um, and then what they do? What are they doing? What are these people doing? I'm tired of it. I'm done with them. I'm done. I don't want to even deal with this anymore. I've been dealing with, see, these, I just, I've been here a year and they've been dealing with this stuff. And I guess it's new to them. It's not new to me. And I'm done with it. But these people want to get their little stuff, their little, little free stuff, free gifts, free gift cards, free gas, free, and their little rental cars they're riding in, and they want to get all this little stuff. So they ain't never going to get tired of it because that's the way they get their little stuff. They get their groceries and stuff like that and, and all that, right? But it's not right, and it's not okay. It's not right, and it's not okay for them to do this. But their moral compass is, is not working. These people's moral compasses are not working. Their moral compass is out of order. So they don't see and feel that it's anything wrong with it because a narcissist does not have any sense of empathy for people and they, that's their disorder. They don't have empathy and they don't um, care about the human condition. Unless it's got something to do with their money or what they getting and it, and stuff like that. That's the only thing they they worried about. They're not caring about um, what they're doing to people and stuff like that. Now, maybe if it start happening to them, maybe they might care. Hmm. Anyway. Um, hmm. They made a whole game of this. Well, they gonna talk about one person, huh? They want to do this. They really want to do it. And this started way back over there where the other city I lived in. So I'm like, well, shucks. I keep, if I, ain't no need to keep moving. I just got to go through it, huh? Just deal. Hmm. This is when you need friends with money. So you can get somebody to do some things and, and pull some strings for you. This is the time that, that you need that. But secret society, you know, who can you get? Who can you get? Because they want everybody to get into the secret society. That's the reason why they're setting traps. They're setting a the trap so that the people can be lured into something. And then they're going to... Lured into this this uh this world of secret society and all this stuff, but these societies are people who are psychologically impaired also because they have personality disorders and they have I'm getting tongue tied again, but they have um psychosis. They're sociopathic people, psychopathic, and they are other type of mental disorders too and they band together why because they they love to have a world full of wickedness wicked people they want to keep having each other to fall back on but then they who are they against they want to be against the people of the most high they want to get, be against God's people the chosen ones See what I'm saying? We need our superpower. 
if, if they got a super power for us chosen one, we need our super power. Because you're dealing with networks of people. Networks of secret society people. These are thugs. They're thugs, actually. They're thugs. High society thugs that use the poor, the poor people, the poor thugs, which are the gangs. This secret society of these high upper, upper class thugs, they're the ones controlling the gang. So that's mind control dealing with, mind control, MK Ultra, mind control of some sort. And the all seeing eye, it's because they got a whole bunch of people. They got a whole bunch of people watching. It ain't just one eye. It's just a whole bunch of daggone people. You got a whole bunch of people. Watching, watching, stalking, stalking, trapping, trapping. Lying, lying, manipulating, manipulating. Using, using, abusing, abusing. Stuff ain't right. It's not right. I don't need no man, a woman, a boy, a girl to control me. You understand me? Well, I have the Holy Spirit to help me to have that moral compass so that I know how to act. I know what to do and not what not to do. I know what not to do. That's what's holding me from doing some things. Because this stuff is, is, is I'm, I'm like, you're going to get to a point where you might, you like, oh, you feel like doing something to somebody. Because of this. You want to live, I, I want to live. I want to live my life the way I choose to live it. Without somebody trying to dictate to me how I should be. When I'm the salt of the earth. I'm the one with the flavor. I'm the one with the flavor. That's why they watching. See, they lost their soul. They lost their soul. They sold it or whatever. It's gone. It don't even belong to them anymore. My soul is still intact. Maybe that's why they're jealous. And you know the story about the, the angels that fell from heaven. They're the fallen angels. They're the demons or whatever it is. Whatever they are, you know. And they lost their place. Um, and they were falling because, you know, if you fall from heaven, you, you don't have the same uh, privileges. You don't have the same abilities that you had before. You don't have that anymore. You lost. You lost it. Whatever you had up there in heaven, the angels, they fell, they lost. So they mad. I know they mad. Because they lost what they lost. And some of them fell because the, there was the sons of God, which are where it's supposed to be the angels. They fell because they saw that the, the daughters of men, they, they looked beautiful to them or looked good to them. And they had to come down to, from heaven to get with them. And now they're here. And, like, I guess they paid too much for what they got. And then, you know, they're angry every day because they're here. And... You know, they have to go from place to place, jump from person to person, you know, so they, just like a narcissist has to have their supply. Those demons, they need their supply. They go all around trying to find a place to, to dwell. Go through the desert trying to get to a place to dwell. That's what they do, huh? That's what's going on? Is that what's going on? <laughs> So the same thing with the Nazis, they need some supply. They lost their soul because they sold their soul. You sell it, what, can you get it back? If you sell your soul, can you get it back? So they need somebody to, to latch on to their leeches. A leech is a parasite. A leech with parasite, it, it will suck your blood because they're trying to live. They, but these, these, these um, narcissists want your energy. They want your, your vital life energy. You know, that's why they like to get, up, get you upset. So they get you upset and you argue with them. Guess what? The demons, get, they get drawing that, that, that supply from you. That's what's going on. 
That's what's going on. So you need some supply, then guess what you're going to do? You're going to get some, try to get to somebody. And who, who is the best supply? Who is the best supply? It's, it's God's people because we have his spirit. We have the spirit that comes from, from our Heavenly Father, from God himself, from, from the Most High, our Heavenly Father. Abba Yash, who I call him because he's Father. Father. Abba means Father. He's my Heavenly Father, so I say Abba Yah. Because there's so many different names they got now for him. Yahweh Shai, Yahweh. Then they got Yahuwah. And Yah, I can see. See, I just said, well, Yah, Father, you're my Father. You are my Father, my Heavenly Father. And you give me your Holy Spirit. And I'm I'm so so grateful for the Holy Spirit. That the Holy Spirit will come to dwell with me. I might not be in the so-called spirit every day because I'm looking at these people. Maybe I'm watching them too much because they, they into my business and they're trying to get my attention all the time. And it's a distraction, right? It's a distraction. So I'm thanking the Lord when when um i think every all day long i'm like thank you just for being in the am i getting a, a a nice hot shower and soap i got soap and everything like that i'm thanking the lord for that i thank the lord when i can sit down at the table and i eat uh thank you how to have food to eat thank you i'm thanking my heavenly father and then sometimes i get into a worship but it's not as much now as i used to i'm trying to say but he's still with me. He still lets me know that he's with me. And even though I'm going through this, I know that the Lord is showing my Heavenly Father, my, my Lord. And maybe I not to use that. My Abba Yah, my Abba Yah, my Heavenly Father, he shows me that I'm still with you. And he says in the scripture, I am with you, Lord, I am with you always, even until the end of the age. So I'm not alone. I spend a lot of time by myself, but I'm not alone. But I spend time, I'm glad that the Holy Spirit gives me the unction, as I ought to, to pray sometimes. And then I start praying and I get into a worship, okay? And then the Holy Spirit would, would, um, would show me the love that my Father has for me. I'm so, I'm grateful for that. Because if it wasn't for my Heavenly Father, what would I do? How would I? I, I probably would, you know, would have done the worst thing. A lot of people commit suicide. Some people commit suicide when they're going through some things that they can't handle. But he said he would not put no more on you than you're able. If, you know, so you're going through this, that means you're strong enough. You're strong. You got everything that God gave you to equip you for this. And I, hopefully it's going to be some type of uh, download. He's going to download some more, some some of that, that uh, supernatural power and on us. Because so, it looks like we're going to need it when you have networks and secret societies of people and, and a whole bunch of haters and a whole bunch of mentally um, unstable people that's trying to lock in on you with with uh with their eyes and and watching you and then they're having their negativity uh focused on you so you gotta get you gotta have the spirit and the chance you get you you start praying you pray and and get in your your um your mode with him and, and worship him and he's gonna power you up with some more of that good, good energy, that good supply, that that the love of God, the the Holy Spirit, and oh, it's, it's so good. I, I'm so, look, hmm. thank you, Father, thank you, thank you, thank you. The fact that I'm talking like this is is good. It's a miracle because I could be cussing right now because this stuff make me cuss. When I get to talking about it, it make me cuss. You heard, you heard some of it, right? Yes, you did. But hey, um. You know, if if I get out all, all the turn, you know, then then the Holy Spirit will come back and get me back right to where the person that I should be. Okay, I uh, love y'all. I feel a spirit of love right now. Love. I love y'all. I feel so happy. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God is good. Our Heavenly Father is good. Abba, Abba Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We cry. Abba Father. And it's good. Hmm. I 
love y'all. God is telling us, our Heavenly Father, Abba Yah is saying, I love you. I love you. And he's with you. Every step of the way. His holy angels is with you. Every step of the way. They guide you. Keep you. Through Christ our Lord. Through Christ our Lord. Hallelujah. Glory. Glory. And may the glory of the Lord be revealed in his people. In the chosen ones. Let the glory of the Lord be revealed. In his chosen ones. And that as you glorify your chosen ones heavenly father. That your name will be glorified. All over the earth. Amen.